What's up, fishing people? Welcome to Tim School Fishing Classes in Session. Today, I want to talk about five knives from CJRB that give me a ton of joy, but they don't get enough love from the knife community. So let's get this camera turned around. Take a look. All right. First up is the CJRB Lago. It is a button lock AR RPM 9 steel, which is CJRB's. Uh, proprietary steel to powder steel satin finish g10 handles on this one it is a button lock it's a flipper but what i love the most about this knife and why it brings me so much joy is not the flipper it is the finger hole that finger hole is absolutely perfect to get your finger right in there and that is just so satisfying that is one of the best finger holes that i have ever had on a knife it's just perfect snaps right out of there the acoustics are phenomenal and cjrb does an outstanding job on all of their button lock i love the profile of that knife the nice neutral handle is just perfect it's got some killer jimping on the back of the blade there and it's got a nice big forward finger choil nice roomy finger choil you can really choke up on that one this knife brings me so much joy that is one bad mamma jamma it's been overlooked in the knife community this one has been slept on in my opinion some guys out there know and they keep saying man you gotta try the lago and i agree what a phenomenal knife look at that bad boy look at the size of that finger hole and the way that it's shaped is just perfect i mean your finger fits right in there and it just wedges in there perfect and you just never miss cjrb lago love this knife i mean i can just do that all day awesome friggin knife if you don't have it you should pick it up big enough for hard use small enough to be a great everyday pocket carry next up is the cjrb echo this is a Ray Laconico design. Ray Laconico. What I love about Ray Laconico is that he takes the complex and simplifies it and he just comes up with elegant designs. There's nothing new or groundbreaking about his designs, but they are just elegant and I love them. This Echo is one of the knife exclusive ones. It's got the titanium bolster, milled titanium clip on there. I love the profile of this knife as well. But the best thing about this knife, the reason that the Echo brings me so much joy is the front flipper. I am typically not a front flipper guy, but the flipper on this one is perfect and it just snaps out of there every time. And the acoustics are phenomenal. This, in my opinion, is one of the best knives of 2023, CJRB Echo. It has been overshadowed by the Pyrite, and the Pyrite is a phenomenal knife, don't get me wrong, but I tell you what, the Echo is close. This is one of the best front flippers that I've ever had, and you can never go wrong with a Ray Laconico design, CJRB Echo. Let's do this one. CJRB Scoria. This one is not a button lock. This one is a liner lock. But what I love so much about this knife is the thumb stud action. It's got a drop point blade on here. CJRB always does a great job of scalloping here to give you great access on their liner lock. This knife is one of the best reverse flicking thumb stud knives in the budget category that I've had. It's big enough for hard use, small enough for everyday carry. The G10 on this is absolutely phenomenal. It's comfortable in the hand. Again, just like on the Lago, it's got a nice big forward finger choil, so you can really choke up on this bad boy. It's one of the best reverse flicking thumb studs. Brings me a ton of joy, but it's been overshadowed a little bit. It gets slept on in the knife community, and it absolutely shouldn't. And this one, like with all CJRB knives, is 
wicked sharp out, right out of the box. Next one on the list is the CJRB Crag. This is another Knife Center exclusive. I love the orange and black G10. I love the orange pivot collar. This is a flipper. It's also a liner lock. Kind of a cleaver style blade shape. Modified sheep's foot, whatever you want to call it. Nice big forward finger choil. Comfortable in the hand. You can also really choke up on this thing. But what I love about this knife is the acoustics and the way that it just slams out of there and snaps open every single time. Schwack! Man, that brings me a lot of joy. And I think it's just an absolutely beautiful knife. It's got the barrel spacers on it. All of these CJRB knives, they don't have back spacers. They have the barrel spacers. I don't hate back spacers, but I prefer the barrel spacers. Everybody's got an opinion. CJRB Crag. Schwack! I mean, that thing just fires out of there and it feels great. Last one is the CJRB Riff. This is also a button lock. Nice, soft, grippy micarta. This is a clip point, and I'm typically not a huge fan of clip points. What I love so much about this knife is the fuller. It's got a nice, big fuller that's wide enough that you can thumb flick it or finger flick it with absolute ease and it just never fails ever it's so easy to reverse flick so easy to thumb flick never fails it just doesn't every single time and the lock like all the button locks on all the cjrbs i have is just phenomenal it's not squishy it's not catchy it got some love in the knife community I can't say that it got no love in the knife community, but I don't think it got enough. I think that once the Pyrite came out, this one was quickly forgotten about, and it shouldn't have been. This is an outstanding knife, one of the best of 2023. All right, so let's get the whole lineup out here and have another look. CJRB Lago brings me a ton of joy. All right. CJRB Scoria brings me a ton of joy. The CJRB Echo, the Ray Laconico design. This one's the titanium bolstered knife center exclusive. I love this one because I love the front flipper and I typically don't love front flippers. Then we had the CJRB Crag, another knife center exclusive. I love this one because I love the acoustics and I love the way it feels when it deploys and snaps out there. And then the last one was the CJRB Riff. I love this one for the fuller on there. So there you go, boys and girls. Five knives from CJRB that bring me a ton of joy and don't get enough love from the knife community. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. That's it for this episode of Tim School of Fish. Class dismissed.